the 1940s, and the family is gathered around a cube-shaped television, eagerly watching a show in black and white. By the late 60s, you could watch shows in color, and the 40s looked like an archaic time, but it was still a large cube-shaped box. Fast forward to the 2000s, and flat-screen TVs are slowly making waves. Technology is rapidly improving and now we can watch shows in high definition on LCD, OLED, or LED screens. Television became the most popular mass medium in the 1950s after replacing the radio. It has played an integral role in modern life, and it's difficult for some to imagine life without it. Samsung is one of the most popular brands on the planet and was founded in 1969. Samsung TVs are produced in various assembly plants in many countries, including Slovenia, Hungary, Romania, Korea, Russia, China, Mexico, Malaysia, Vietnam, Brazil, and India. Samsung Smart TV is one of the most frequently chosen smart TVs by consumers worldwide, as they make one of the most distinctive TV designs. Whether it's a wall mount type, stand, or standalone design, the current designs of Samsung TVs and their other products didn't come out of the blue, as all of the planning was implemented to ensure that recent designs became a success. We go behind the scenes to see how Samsung Smart LED televisions are made and their mass production. In 1998, Samsung developed its first flat screen television, a 55 inch projection display, and in the early 2000s, Samsung released its LCD TV, further changing the game. Around the same time, they also released a 46-inch LCD TV, the largest screen TV at that time. While the OLED TVs and 4K TVs are getting a lot of attention for their top-of-the-line picture quality and immersive features, there's still much to admire from LED TVs. Samsung announced the start of an LED TV generation at CES 2009, aimed at achieving a high, clear image resolution. The television used LEDs, light-emitting diodes, a semiconducting light source that emits when current flows through them. LED is simply a type of display method, with the acronym meaning light-emitting diode. LED uses a liquid crystal display LCD panel or a backlight to control where light is distributed to display the image on the screen. LED TVs have been around since 2007, and LED backlighting remains a widely available and popular TV tech. As previously mentioned, LED TVs work via a backlight, which is composed of two layers of polarizing material with a liquid crystal solution between them. When an electric current passes through the liquid solution, it causes the crystals to align so that the light is transmitted, giving you the image that you view on your screen. There are three main configurations of LED blacklights, full array, edge lit, and direct lit. In the full array, the LEDs are distributed evenly behind the entire screen to produce a more uniform backlight and more effective local dimming. In edge lit, LEDs are placed at the edge of the screens, and depending on the display, they can be arranged all around the screen on the left and right sides only, or at the top and bottom only. And as such, this configuration allows the screen to be very thin, but it can cause some spots on the screen to be brighter than others for a less uniform picture. In direct lit, LEDs are positioned directly behind the screen, like a full array configuration. However, there are fewer LEDs in direct lit configurations, and they can't be controlled separately to generate optimal brightness. Direct lit LED TVs aren't as thin as other LED TVs and are typically a lower to mid-end purchase. Television has exploded at a great exponential growth rate from 1950 to the 1970s. LED and LCD television technologies can last for a very long time. Although, LED TVs typically last longer. Regular LCD sets with fluorescent backlighting typically have a useful life of around 20,000 hours. While LED blacklights last about 100,000 hours, the 20,000 hour life of an LCD set is equivalent to watching a TV for six hours a day every day for nine years. While an LED set could last 45 years, 
LED TVs are more environmentally superior to LCD sets in two key ways. They are more power efficient and don't use environmentally damaging chemicals. LED sets are also much thinner than LCD sets, and the key benefit of the LED set is its high picture quality, as they typically provide better lighting, allowing the TV sets to display more vivid colors. Samsung Smart TV consists of 2,500 high-tech components, which are assemblies of TV hardware and software technologies. They include the bezel, screen, exploded panel, optical sheet, LED, bottom chassis, smart real engine, and so on. These components are put together in order to actualize a cutting-edge design, smartness, and 3D picture quality. The screens are manufactured in Korea, while the accessories are from Vietnam and Korea and then sent to other countries for final production. Components of televisions like the bodies, circuit boards, and screens are mainly produced in China and Vietnam, while some components are produced in Korea. The place of production is chosen based on logistics and economic benefits. In the factory, screens manufactured on site are cut by the L7 and L8 plant from glass having two different sizes with dimensions 1.87 by 2.2 meters and 2.2 by 2.5 meters respectively. The panels consist of eight layers, including the material top chassis, the middle chassis, the dual brightness enhancement film, also known as DBEF, and others. Each panel then goes through a series of different processes attaching integrated circuit boards and polarizing along the way. The polarizer is important because it controls how light is channeled through the screen, discarding ambient light leakage and thus increasing the contrast levels. After this, the tab IC is attached. These are small flexible sheets that interface between the screens and the television's electronics. Treated glass is tested and bonded to the metal chassis and backlight, and each panel eventually goes through five stages of inspection, the first three being automated. Two tests are being run on the television, the first being an input test followed by an aging test. The input test is used to check if the panel works once power is applied, while in the aging test, the screen is subjected to a 45 degree temperature for two hours. After the TV components are manufactured, they go to assembly lines, and these small factories that receive the components assemble the TV. These factories do the conveyorized assembly, and the screen, circuit board, and speakers are installed in the case, after which the TV is inspected, packaged, and shipped to stores. About 50 engineers labored for two years to reinvent all the elements of the television gathering over 3,000 patents in the process. The resultant TVs would then differentiate themselves by establishing a new industry domain. History shows that inventors had conceived the idea of television long before the technology was created. From the 1800s, advances for the television were made, starting from the selenium camera by George R. Carey to the invention of the cathode ray by German physicist Carl Ferdinand Braun and then to the scanning disk invented by Paul Nipkow. Later in 1907, Russian scientist Boris Rosing used both the cathode ray tube and the mechanical scanner system in an experimental television system. Two types of television systems came into existence from the early experiments with visual transmissions. Mechanical television based on Nipkow's disk system and electronic television based on the cathode ray tube. The 1950s proved to be the golden age of television, during which it experienced massive growth in its popularity. Mass production during World War II substantially lowered the cost of purchasing a television set, making it accessible to the masses. The first mass-produced television set was the RCA 630TS, sold between 1946 and 1947. The television consists of four principal parts, the exterior, or housing, the audio reception and speaker system, the picture tube, and a complicated mass of electronics, including computer hips, access buttons, remote control receiver, cables, etc. What do you love about Samsung TVs? Leave your answers in the comments section below.
Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for new videos.